Today, I'm going to show you guys how to use the new dunk meter in NBA 2K23. All right, so we got the hand cam going. First off, I'm going to show you guys how to do a flashy two-hand dunk. You want to flick it up and hold it up the second time. If you want to do a flashy two-hand dunk, like I said, just flick it up and then hold it up again. Now, the second type of dunk I'm going to show you guys is a flashy one-handed dunk. And for this one, all you want to do is just drive, flick the right stick down, and then hold it up, and it does something cool like that. For these two dunks that I just showed you, the meter actually doesn't pop up. For the next two that I'm about to show you, it's going to pop up. So the next one I'm going to show you guys is pretty much a contact dunk or any type of skill dunk where you don't hold on to the rim. So all you want to do for this is just flick it up and then hold it down like this. So I'm going to show you guys one more time. All you want to do for the normal skill dunk is literally just flick the right stick up, hold it down, and it does something like that. Now, the last one I'm going to show you is a skill dunk where you hold on to the rim. So for this one, you just flick the right stick down and then hold it down again. Okay, what the? So you want to flick the right stick down and hold it right down afterwards, just like that. Super easy. I'm going to show you guys one more time because it kind of looks a little difficult. I'm not even going to lie. You want to flick the right stick down and hold it down right after. And it does a nice little rim hang like that. And something cool you guys probably don't know is like when you're hanging on the rim, if you use the left stick you could swing your feet like this you see me swinging my feet in circles you can swing it like that it's kind of cool you can hold the right stick up to pull yourself up and then you can let go of it to pull yourself down and if you want to let go of the rim you just want to let go of r2 like this and if you guys want to know how to do the advanced layups click this video right here I promise you won't regret it